two reclining bucket seats and carpeting for both your feet and windows made of tinted glass a key for locking up your gas the outside air can flow right through and front the swigs are standard too how did dodge coast put so much in such a little car what's up guys larry chen here welcome to another episode of hoonigan autofocus we are focusing on autos today we're in southern california and we're at my buddy Dennis's shop. What's interesting about the car culture here is there's just so many different groups that actually tune old school JDM cars. One of the most recent groups that I've really kind of made friends with is the old school JDM tuners, but they're all Filipino guys. And uh, my buddy Dennis is here. What's up? What's happening? How are you? Pretty good. Thanks for having me at your shop. Thank you, my pleasure. Dennis, I've been following a lot of his builds for a while, and he always brings his Mitsubishi Colt to the local meets. He brings it to the Hoonigan meets, and it's really a pleasure to see. I've always wanted to feature it, but we've never really had a chance. But before we get to this, I kind of want to check out some of the other builds that you have going on here at sure. their shop. Yeah. So one of my most favorite builds of yours is definitely your Corolla, the lime green Corolla back there. Uh -huh. Can we take a look at it real quick? Sure. Yeah, no problem. The last time we saw it, it was actually at the AutoCon? It was an AutoCon, yes. Yeah. It was my favorite car of the show, without a doubt. To, to see it here, it, it's going to kind of go into the next evolution, right? Yes. I'm going to make the car turbo by hopefully by summertime. Of course got, you are. <laughs> I got my uh, fabricator here, yeah. Dance Toy Performance. Hi. Dan. He's busy. Hey! He's busy. <laughs> okay. That's the engine for that car. Right. So it's going to be turbo. How much power do you think you're going to make? We're expecting to have at least maybe about 3, 350 horsepower. What? In a Corolla? Yeah, in a Corolla. Yes. That's going to be so crazy. We upgraded um, the rear end already. Uh -huh. I got an A86 rear end and we're going to put a W55 transmission out of a Toyota Celica. Ah, okay. It's going to be really cool. You guys are definitely going to see it first here on Hoonigan Auto Focus once it's done, and I cannot wait to take that for a ride. What you else? can see I got um, the engine all ported out uh -huh. and everything. So it's all pretty much ready. We're just waiting for some parts. So you were actually, uh, you were in the Philippines recently, right? I was in the Philippines about a month ago. So, okay, everybody, all you and J JT, so I've been shooting pretty much a lot of their, I guess your group. Of yes. A lot of the cars in, in that group. And also you guys help each other out, right? So yes. We recently shot JT's uh, Hakoska, which you actually did a lot of work on, right? Yes, uh, with that uh, two Jay-Z swap, and I did a paint job on it too at the same time. The paint job is beautiful. It's kind of like a Tiffany blue or a Tiffany green, green right? Or yeah, green. green. Yeah. It's really cool to kind of see the community, everyone pulled together to work together for, for one goal, which is to kind of complete a SEMA project. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So what else do you have here? What is this? Well, I have a 19, this is a 1972 Toyota Corolla. It's one of the project to doing the motor, pretty much uh, restore the whole thing. I have him customize the headers for this one. So tell me about that. Why is it that the Philippines, or, or just you guys in general, it's just a bunch of Filipino friends, why are you guys so into these old school JDM cars? That's where we started, back in the Philippines. We are enthusiastic with this, all, the, all this uh, JDM old school car. I mean, because what's interesting to me is this car, to me, at this moment in time, is very special and it's beautiful. And I think it's one of those things where uh, once you restore it, not only is it going to go up in value, but it's, uh, it's like a time capsule, right? It's time very capsule. historical. It's just we're very enthusiastic to the car. I mean, we're not thinking about, you know, it's, it's our hobby at the same time and we enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. Uh, with that said, I definitely have to check out the Philippines and I have to check out the car culture over there. So maybe soon autofocus. Look at the headers it. in this one. Oh, wow. That is incredible. 
That is so cool. So you guys made this or? He made it. Oh. I didn't make it. He did it. Dan Stoy made, did it. Hey. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is, that is incredible. They look so good. All right, let's check out the rest of your toys. What, what is this right here? You got this the Iron is, Pig, uh, the Land yeah. Cruiser? This is a 70, 72. Uh, 72 um, Land Cruiser. Are you gonna restore this? We're gonna restore this one. Oh, it's just getting the parts, it takes yeah. a while. This one is a 69 Toyota uh, Sprinter. And I got another 69 right here. Toyota Corolla or another Sprinter. You got an 86 out here, right? That's also very interesting, has some boost. Uh, we'll kind of check that out later. At a, at a later time. Oh, wow. Okay, we just so this finished is the body this shop. one. Yeah, this is the body shop. We just finished this. Okay. So you did a full, almost full restoration on this pretty one? Pretty much full, but without engine bay. And uh, we did pretty much body, just the body. This is one, one of my uh, projects that I just finished too. Mm -hmm. uh, A86, uh, that Panda. Wow. But this is basically a SR5. Uh huh. We made it to a. Uh, you know, like GTS style. That's really cool. We're almost done with it too. Almost done. Hmm. Uh, you have so many spare body parts. Yeah, we we have to. <laughs> and then I got a '75 Corolla right here. Uh huh. <laughs> it's crazy that. And then I have a '80 '82 Corolla wagon. Wow, I love these. 82 Corolla wagon. You, you have quite the collection going on over and here. And I got a starlet inside this uh, spray boot. Oh, can we take a look at it? Yeah, sure. Oh, wait a minute. Celica. <laughs> Celica. Turbo. It's, it's, it is turbo? Yeah, but it's it is turbo. Drive? It's a four-wheel drive. Okay. I got a starlet right here. Oh, wow. I just finished restoring that one. So ground up restoration. Oh, this is incredible. It's so clean. Is this for a customer then? Yeah, that one's for a customer. Wow. Yeah. This is just so cool. It was a rust bucket too. Yeah. All right, so if, if people want to hire you for restoration, they just find you on Instagram or what? Just find me on Instagram, and I don't even have a sign in my shop. <laughs> yeah, but you're so busy. Yeah, I'm very busy all the time. This is crazy. It's beautiful. Really good job. I love the wheels, too. Those are Advan. Yeah. Advan wheels. It's crazy. The paint is perfect. Right now it's dusty, but yeah. once you clean it and everything, it's very shiny. So I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna see this at JCCS, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. See the engine in this? I restored the engine too in this one. Bone stock. Wow. But, you know, it's restored to OEM. Yeah, it pretty much looks like off the showroom floor right now. Let's take a look at your call and if you could I just kind of run me over. I have another right here. Oh, another one? Yeah. It's like the JDM Fantasyland over here. I have another Colt, but it's yeah. a four-door Colt. Oh. This one actually says Dodge, then. Yeah, but it, it, it's a Lancer, yeah, yeah. too. It's a Lancer, yeah. <laughs> Rebudge yeah. to Lancer. Oh. Are you going to restore this one, too? Well, I'm thinking of putting a um, 4G 64 turbo in it. I, I actually put a... 4G64 engine fuel injected in it already out of a, a Mighty Max pickup truck. Ah. So you're a Mitsubishi and Toyota guy? Pretty much. But you'll work on everything. I work on everything. Yeah. You'll work on Mazda. You know, it just too. happened that I, you know, customer bring it here and they don't want to take it back, run out of budget, and, you know, I keep the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this thing. So I don't know too much about Mitsubishi's, uh, so you're gonna have to kind of school me on what what this is about. So, what, what what is this originally? What year is this? This is originally 1977 Dodge Colt here in the United States. In Asia, it was rebadged to um, Mitsubishi Lancer. 
coal. When they came to America, back then, back in the 77, the price on a gas was so high, so Dodge started ordering a car from Mitsubishi, you know, to get a four-cylinder. Yeah. I guess back then, Dodge couldn't make a four-cylinder car. So this actually you could buy in the U.S. I did some uh, mo modification because here in the U.S., the bumper, he's got a extended bumper. Right. But I, I made the bumper shorter to make it more JDM style. I see. So in Asia, it came as the Lancer. As a Lancer, yes. Oh. And I, I really like the livery that you put on it. You painted this yourself? Yes. We painted it here, and I had um, a sticker put on by... Uh, G2 graphics. Basically, I, was, I wasn't really gonna keep this car. I was ready to sell the car, but I just realized, you know what? Let me keep this car. It's a good condition. I'm the only one pretty much that I know that has this here in California. So that's why I decided to keep the car. But I was re really ready to sell the car. <laughs> yeah. Well, I really like the look that you put on it. What's interesting to me is from the rear, when I look at this car, it looks like an American car. Right, just it the is design. American car. Right, right, but the design of it. The design is. It American looks like car. it's it it was even made here in America, but this was made in Japan. Made in Japan, yeah. yes. Was it's just so crazy when you're following it. It looks like an American car, but as soon as you get to the front, then you can tell it's a you Japanese car. You can tell it's car. Japanese, yeah. yes. But so, what is this um, uh, livery based on? It's based on it's a rally a, car. Rally car. It was a rally champion in Australia. They used the same body style and the same motor back in 1975. It was a safari champion in uh, Australia. And the, the thing is, you actually track this. You don't... I just track the car. Yeah. That's why you can see I removed um, the, mud the mud flap because I took it to the racetrack a couple of months ago and I changed the, um, the tire. Yeah. Because I wanted to have a little bit of grip on it. So you're not afraid to push this thing? No, yeah. I drove this all the way to Willow Spring. Yeah. That's about 100 miles. Right, right. <laughs> uh, drive to the track 100 miles, uh, drive all day, and then drive back 100 miles. So can we take a look at the engine bay? Sure. I really love the light pod setup that you have in the front. It is, it's just so... See, oh, that, oh. that motor here in the United States, they didn't have that Saturn logo. Oh. But in Japan, they have that Saturn logo because they call this engine a 4G32 engine. Hmm. That's why I got this special valve cover for it. That's pretty cool. What is it? It's a one point? It's a 1.6 engine stroker. And so how much more power is that? Maybe I get about what? 90 horsepower. It's still okay. You know, you, I mean, I <laughs> it's a little kind of lightweight and you, I'm sure you put foot to the floor on this. Oh yeah, all the time. I even put a racing gas in it. <laughs> I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> <laughs> no that problem. That is so cool. Very cool. Solex carburetor. Yeah, Solex yeah. carburetor, which is the original carburetor. Oh. Yeah. I like this. I like the, the distributor that you can oh, see. Oh, the player distributor? Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, you, when you're a car enthusiast, you always think, okay, what should I do on this? You know, I, re I relocate a lot of stuff here. Like the, um, the windshield washer used to be there. Mm -hmm. And the reservoir for the coolant, it used to be on that side and I relocated. I wanted to make it, the engine bay look like, uh, like it's empty. I like this though, this is really cool. Manufactured in Japan, Mitsubishi for Chrysler Corporation. That is just so crazy. And I like this too. Very cool little sticker. Can we take a look at the interior? Sure, yeah. Did you change anything in here? Uh, nope, I just reupholstered the seat. This is the original uh, steering wheel for this car. This car used to be a um, four-speed. Mm. I put a pickup truck transmission. I made it a five-speed. Oh. I drove this car all the way to Las Vegas, too. Mm. I like your old-school radio. The radio, it's a Pioneer KP500. <laughs> That's the pretty much period correct for that year. Yeah. This is so cool. So you did everything like the headliner much, and yes. everything? I did everything. Oh, really good job. Yeah. It's so nice how the materials that you use, everything is so new. I like the racing mirror too. Old school. Yeah. <laughs> really good job. I love it so much. Thank you. Very good job. Can we hear it? 
Sure, yeah. What a cool car. Well, thank you so much for showing this to us. Anytime, you're yeah. the best, Larry. This is uh, uh, really cool to kind of see the projects that you have going on. Mm -hmm. This is what I love about Southern California car culture, right? Yes. You don't need a million horsepower to have fun. Nope. I mean, this thing, we were just driving around, taking pictures of it around the city here, and people were pointing, people were stopping, they want to take pictures of it because it's just so unique. And like you yep. said, it's probably the only one in California like this. Probably, I haven't seen another one like this. Yeah. Beside the other one that I have there. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. Um, can, can I uh, take it for a spin around the block? Sure. Yeah. No problem. Woo! <laughs> okay. The brake on this one is very sensitive. Uh-huh. Okay. It's an old car. But I, I know about old cars, believe me. My, It'll uh, stop. <laughs> as long as it'll stop. Don't so start. is it is it manual brakes then still? No, oh, oh. it's uh it has a booster. Oh okay. Oh wow. That's I why see it's what sensitive. You mean. Yeah. It's actually pretty quiet too. Yeah. It's comfortable to drive this car. Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, it stops. It'll stop. It'll stop. Yeah. But it's sensitive. So what does it rev out to? I can go up to like five thousand in this. Oh. Five thousand RPM. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. I like it. <laughs> Sounds good. About 4,000 RPM, that's when you get the horsepower. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. This is fun. The shifting is really nice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy how rare this car is, then, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't see it. <laughs> it's nice. It's always nice to drive an old school carbureted car. Yes. to the floor everywhere you go, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody really looks at you twice. That is so awesome. I love it. Oh man, yeah, this is it right here. Mitsubishi Colt Lancer. Or is it just Colt? Well, basically Dodge Colt. Dodge Colt, okay. But I rebadged it right, to, right. to original. Ah, okay. Which is right. a Mitsubishi Lancer Colt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dodge Colt. Amazing. Just just so cool. Really, really good job. I love it so much. Thank you so much for letting me drive this thing. Man. I like it a lot. It, it, it runs so good too. It runs like a new car. <laughs> <laughs> but the power is not there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's old school. It's old school. <laughs> they even have that's uh, that's why I points like in this. Yeah. <laughs> Contact points, no yeah. electronic. Yeah, that's why I like it. <laughs> now you know the feeling back in yeah. 77. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You probably wasn't uh, born that day. No, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, this is why I love old cars like this because essentially it is a time capsule you know yes back in 1977 77. somebody was driving this like as a new car like as they a just new car. they just drove it off the show floor and then it's like oh this is so nice everything's so new you know and well thank you so much again no like problem, i said dude. it's like a time machine mm -hmm. and to be able to experience this it's it's a lot of fun for me that's a wrap <laughs>